This is an amazing geometry problem. We are given a triangle with vertices A, B, and C. From vertex A, a segment is drawn to the opposite side, BC, and the intersection point is called D. Two angles are given. This angle is 80 degrees, and this angle is 70 degrees. It is also known that the length of side AC is equal to the sum of segments AB and BD. Under these conditions, we are asked to find the angle at vertex C, or this one. So, can you solve it? Let us start the solution. First, we mark the angles that we can easily find. We know that the sum of all angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees, right? The sum of both these angles equals 150 degrees. Therefore, this angle turns out to be equal to 30 degrees. Then we also know that the angle of a straight line is always 180 degrees. The sum of both these angles form a straight angle, and thus their sum must be 180 degrees. This is 70, and thus this angle must be 110 degrees. These angles might come handy later. What should we do next? So far, we have not used the given equality that side AC is equal to side length AB plus BD. But what can we do with this information? See, here comes the magic. In such situations, it is helpful to straighten this broken line and turn it into a single segment. To do this, we extend segment AB and mark a point E here so that segment DB is equal to EB. Therefore, by construction, the new segment AE is equal in length to side AC, right? Now, connect these two points E and D to form an isosceles triangle BDE. Now, what will be this angle? See, this is 80 degrees, and some of both these angles form a straight angle whose value is 180 degrees. So, this angle is equal to 100 degrees, because 100 plus 80 is 180. Now, focus on this isosceles triangle. By the property of an isosceles triangle, both these remaining angles are equal, right? Since this angle is 100 degrees, and the sum of angles of the triangle is 180 degrees, the remaining 80 degrees are split equally between the two base angles. Thus, each base angle will be equal to 40 degrees. Wow! Awesome! Next, we carefully look at the diagram again. On one side, we see an angle of 110 degrees, and on the other side, we see an angle made of 40 degrees and 70 degrees, which together also give 110 degrees. Okay. So if we consider triangles ADE and ADC, both of them share a common side AD. Then this side length, AE, is equal to side length AC. Also, both these angles are equal. Therefore, using the side-side angle criteria, we conclude that triangles ADE and ADC are congruent. As a result, the corresponding angles in these triangles are also equal and hence the required angle at vertex C will be the same as the angle at vertex E, which is 40 degrees, and that's it. That was super duper cool. Like, share, and subscribe.